face, sis. I'm so sorry that this backfired on you the way it did. I mean, to be fair, it's, it's mostly the male Olympians that really have no shame. I mean, Aphrodite, you know, included in that group, but I... Uh, Honey, I'm so sorry. I know this wasn't the result that you were hoping for, but... Oh, really? Is he now? Thanks so much for the heads up. And hey, if you want to get a coffee later or something and like vent some more about this, call. I'll call you. I'll call you and then we'll go from there, okay? Yeah, yeah, no problem, Hephaestus. I'll, I'll talk to you later, okay? Okay, bye. Well, to make a long story short, so the gift that Hephaestus crafted for Aphrodite's birthday was a golden net, a very strong golden net. And the idea was that he was going to string this net above her bed and when Ares and Aphrodite were gonna play Duck Duck Goose, the net was supposed to fall down and catch them up. And, 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 and Hephaestus was supposed to bring other people into the room and basically gawk at Ares and Aphrodite and make fun at them for being caught with each other. And the problem is a lot of the, the guys that, that came in may or may not have alluded to the, the idea that they wished that they had been stuck in that golden net with Aphrodite instead of Ares. So that that didn't work out the way Hephaestus had planned, which is a shame, truly. It really is. But now, now, apparently, Hephaestus has let me know that Ares is not happy with me. If he comes down here, then I will simply have a civilized chat with him as I would with any other person who comes angrily into my office. So, you know, but I mean, I don't anticipate. Jack, honey, go get yourself a coffee. Go take a coffee break. Aries, hi, come on in. Have a seat. How are you? Now that's not very nice, cousin. I didn't set anything up. Pause, pause. If anyone's going to be colluding to humiliate anybody, it's not going to be me wasting my time with humiliating you. For the pure and simple fact that you've got the IQ of a bag of bricks. You couldn't be shamed even if I wanted to shame you because you just lack the mental capacity for shame. So if you're going to sit here and try and berate me for making you look like a fool in front of your fellow Olympians, that's not going to work. Quick question, Aries. Between the two of us, who's the Olympian? You, that's right. Zeus, 
is the king god of who exactly? Very good. Very good. So what does that mean? Yes, yes. I am not a subject of Zeus. He is not my sovereign. That means I don't fear him. So this whole notion of you bringing daddy down to talk to me about making you look bad isn't really going to work. On top of the fact that, and I don't mean this unkindly, but facts are facts. Zeus doesn't even really like you that much anyway. So, you know. Well, break my heart into a thousand pieces. Okay, all right. 